Uh, hello everyone, uh, this video talks about uh, how to define the board shape in the most easiest way possible in LTM. So I assume that you already know how to build a schematic and uh, how to update your PCB. So once you update your PCB board, you see something like this. So I have this um, already a circuit here and which, which has a PCB components over here. I want my board uh, for with a specific design. So here we how we can do that. First of all, we can toggle the units uh, either by selecting this area, mills or mills. I use mills, or you can just press and uh, press the key on your keyboard. The key is Q. So to define the board shape, there are like a, um, lots of ways, but this is the one I prefer the most. I go to place, I select a rectangle, make any shape rectangle here. And while the rectangle is selected, you can see, sorry, we have to press escape. Okay. Now you can see that uh, on the right side, um, we have the dialog box in here with a specific width and height of the re that rectangle. So let's say I want a uh, elongated board shape with a width of uh, 10 mil uh, millimeters and uh, the height of uh, 50 millimeters. Okay, so this is a tiny board that I have. So before I proceed, I need to make sure that this rectangle is selected. So when it's selected, it uh, sort of uh, grays out. And uh, now it's not selected, so it's kind of hard to select the um, this board. So I need to zoom it in and just click like this. Now it's uh, selected. I go to design board shape, define board shape from selected objects, and that's it. Now I have a board that is exactly uh, with the dimensions of uh, 10 mil millimeters and 50 millimeters. Okay, so it's uh, very easy uh, and I do not need to uh, do anything uh, complicated. So while staying on this object, uh, this rectangle, and if I select it again, and if I want my board to be of another size like 33 millimeters and uh, this board shape is 78. Uh, height with some very specific uh, parameters. I need to change the dimensions of my rectangle. Now my rectangle looks like this and it's already selected. So while it's selected, I go to design again, board shape, define board shape. Now my board shape is like this. So this is the easiest way possible of uh, to design a, a board which has very specific measurements. If you like this video, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you very much.